Hey everyone, the name is Eric and if you feel yourself doubting what type you are, if you're unsure of what your personality type is, if you want to know what the MBTI is, you've come to the right video. Today I'm introducing a new magical flowchart that will solve all your questions about the MBTI and about your personality type. The MBTI consists of about 8 personality traits, introverts, extroverts, intuitives, sensors, feelers, thinkers, judgers and perceivers. There's ESTPs, INFJs, INFPs and INTJs. So every where you can group together people based on four personality traits, four specific personality traits. So that's 16 personality types. You can figure out your personality type by following this magical flowchart. Introverts, they are people that care most about themselves. Extroverts are people that care mostly about the group. Intuitives, they are people that ask questions. Sensors, they are people that give answers. Thinkers, they are people that formulate systems. Feelers are people that formulate values. Judgers, they are people that push. Perceivers are people that test. What that means is uh, every personality type will fall on this scale. There is, however, no true introvert, no true extrovert, no true intuitive, or no true sensor. There are introverted intuitives and there are extroverted intuitives. There are intuitive judgers and there are intuitive perceivers. What that means is every personality trait comes in four subgroups. And to make it even more complicated, every introvert is different to every other introvert. So an INFJ is nothing alike an ISTJ in terms of how they exhibit and manifest their introversion. They show it differently and they express being introverted in a different way. One type can appear extroverted to another type simply because they are introverted in a different way and extroverted in a different way. Introverts, they are people that focus on themselves, but introverted intuitives, they are people that are focused on questioning themselves. Who am I? What am I doing here? What is my identity? Where do I come from? What do I believe? Why do I believe what I believe? Introverts, they are people that ask questions about themselves. Sensors, they are people that have answers about themselves. Introverted sensors are people with a strong sense of identity. They know who they are. They know where they come from. They know their roots and their upbringing. They know their identity. They know their beliefs. Extroverts, they are people that have answers in relation to the tribe. They know about the tribe. They know their family. They know their friends. They know the people around them. They are people that have knowledge of things that are happening around them. They are people that are interested in their surroundings, that know their way around a bar or a social atmosphere or environment. Intuitives, they are people that have questions. They are curious about their environment. What is this like? What is this place like? How does this work? Where does that road lead to? They are people that seek to create new paths or to find new places. They are explorers. Extroverted sensors are adventurers, they are experience oriented. Intuitives, they are discovery oriented. When it comes to values and systems, think about the INFP versus the ESTJ. An INFP is a person that has values that they constantly question, like values that they constantly test. Do I believe this? How can I show this belief? How can I best live up to these values? How can I express these values? What can I say? Do I believe the right thing? How, am I sure that these are correct things to believe about myself? Their values are primarily about themselves and their own identity. INFPs generally don't think about how other people should live, but instead they focus on how they should live. Who should I be? What kind of a person should I be? How should I live in a way that is true and authentic to myself? ESTJs, they're very different in how they express thinking. So what you see is ESTPs, sorry, ESTJs, they're people that are very pushy about what they think and what they know is right. They have very strong beliefs that they are very aggressive about. If they feel the, way, the world works in a certain way or the system is a certain way or the rules are a certain way, they are very aggressive about this. They want everyone in the world, the group and the tribe and their family to uphold these systems and to work with these uh, systems or tools or to use them in a useful way. ESTJs, they primarily focus on being useful and making other people be more productive. They push on the system. They push their answers and their beliefs onto others to help other people do better, to be more productive, to be more useful. Every single type falls along this flowchart in a different way. 
And if you're a judging type, you can be very different from a perceiving type. An INFP can appear nothing alike to an INFJ. An ENFJ can appear completely different to an INFJ. Every type is different. Every type is unique. Your personalities, your values, your opinions are definitely core to you and to you only. Very few people might think or experience the way the world the way you do. And that's why the MBTI is such an interesting system to know. You can't simply hold to a dichotomy approach. You can't group people into introverts and extroverts and say we're all the same. You can't say, oh, as I'm an intuitive, I feel this way or that way. Because different intuitives approach things differently. Often introverted intuitives can be very secure and can have very strong opinions about the world around them, but can be very doubtful and very prone to questioning themselves. Extrovert intuitives can be full of questions about everything they see and hear, but they can have very strong identities and very strong self-image, something you can't really question them about. They can even appear rigid or static in that they are so secure in who they are that they don't listen to or adjust to other people's feedback. Every scale should be contrasted against one another. So use this flowchart and think about how every letter pairs with another letter. Or how three letters pair together. How does thinking pair with sensing? How does thinking pair with intuition? How does thinking pair with judging? Or how does thinking pair with perceiving? How does introverted thinkers differ from extroverted thinkers? How can I see this in myself and other people? What kind of systems are we talking about here? What kind of values? What kind of questions? Questions about what? Answers about what? The tribe what? The tribes what? The groups what? My what? I use these keywords to create the right associations to get people to understand my mindset and new Jungian typology. I developed my own system of flow types and what I believe is your personality type is who you are in flow, so who you are at your best, what you value more than anything, what you intrinsically value. What makes you calm? What gives you confidence? What gives you strength? So, these dichotomies are usually expressed with confidence, with security, with belief, with passion, with energy, with motivation. If you can figure out your flow type, your MTI type, you can figure out how to be more passionate, how to be more confident, how to be more secure. So, use this video for inspiration and keep exploring the MTI in yourself and let me know. Do you know your personal type already? Are you having doubts about anything? I'm also available for personality typing, so visit patreon.com slash ericdor if you want to get your personality typed or if you want to figure out yourself better. See you all in the next video.